Wonderful Wednesday, week 25. The topic is connection. And to practice my vulnerability with all of you, I decided what better day and way to discuss this topic than a place in which I ground to connect to Mother Nature, to my senses, to my soul, to my innate wisdom. It's a place I come to to calm down and slow down and release anxiety and relieve pain, muscle soreness. Um, so yeah, a little uncomfortable, but moving forward. So the connection I wanna talk about is the connection of you to yourself and your soul, of course, because why would I want to talk, to talk about any other type of connection? The thing I want to kind of reiterate, I read this earlier this week, is the soul does not love. It is love itself. <laughs> it does not exist. It is existence itself. And it does not know, it is knowledge itself. And this is an interesting concept because I think connection is something that we really put this high pressure on wanting and desiring, but we often force it because it's just like supposed to be happening or we want it so bad that we kind of use our thoughts and beliefs to stem it and create it. Where really, if we just learn to feel and be connected with thyself, and thy stomach and soul. Game changer. The quote for this week is, learn everything you can, anytime you can, from anyone you can. There will always come a time that you will be grateful you did. And this is very, very true. With the connections you have in your life right now, which ones are forced? Which ones are healthy? Which ones are not forced? Which ones are unhealthy? I don't know. I know that there are connections that are forced in my life that I tolerate and deal with. I know there's connections in my life that I was like, this is not serving me, I'm giving it the boot. But then there are also connections that I have right now that are, how did I, get so blessed to have something so strong and like I can't even explain it at times and it's important that you know that connections like the last one I just described are capable for you but in order to do that you really really have to practice curiosity and gratitude to hone in and to listen to what you need in life are you too anxious are you too are you depressed are you are you sabotaging yourself? Your connections stem off of your connection with yourself, your understanding of yourself, your curiosity of yourself. I'm asking you to slow the heck down and listen to what your stomach's saying, to what your heart's saying. The mind, pff, it doesn't know what it's talking about, okay? So the call to action is Observe, what are your current connections? What do they look like? Eliminate the ones that shouldn't be there, that aren't serving you, that don't make your heart pitter-patter or your private parts kind of feel a little tingly. And to approach the other connections that you're just not so sure about with curiosity and gratitude. See you next week.